What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to quickly add in your special effects lighting such as the mini Kentas uh, or FX Pix bars, any light that has a lot of effects going to it, um, this is how I would recommend adding it into our software. First, you want to make sure you minimize the folders over here to your right for your wash light groups. Uh, for the most part, a lot of those fixtures don't move too much. So I like to keep them in the wash light groups as those are the two primary groups of this program. So once those two folders are minimized, we're going to click the plus icon and we're going to use the mini Kentas in this demonstration. So I'm going to search for Chavette. We're going to look for mini Kenta. And now we're going to drag over the three channel mode mini Kenta. Now make sure you're dragging over the correct mini Kenta. Uh, as some may have the IRCs, the newer ones are the IRCs, and make sure that you're on the correct channel mode, uh, as it looks like the Mini Kenta only have a four channel mode. So, uh, drag those over into each of your groups, and hit done. Now we want to go up to the top and hit the DMX button to show our DMX mapping because we want to see where did those mini Kentas get dropped off to. Now in sound switch, they will add to the first available positions for the amount of channels that you need. So since we dropped in the three channel mini Kentas and there's three channels available here, it dropped in a mini Kenta there and a mini Kenta here. But to clean this up, we're going to go ahead and bring this mini Kenta to let's say 304 and we're going to bring this mini Kenta to 300 and actually bring this one to 303. Now, since our mini Kentas are added into our software, we want to then go over and assign them to a, a group. Now, these groups are your uh, intensity groups that allows you to adjust the brightness on the fly through the control one. So, as usual, I like to put all my wash lights or any similar lights into group one. So we're going to make sure those are assigned to group one and make sure our second Kenta, which is in the blue group, is a set to our secondary uh, wash. So once that's set to our secondary wash, we are done assigning the DMX address and adding the fixture to our software programming. But to add on to the fixture, we need to then mess with the attribute cues as we do have here with the movers. To get your lights working with just the attribute cues that we have in here, so you don't have to do any custom programming, you can literally go in and just double click on each of our attribute cues, and it will allow you to then map any of your new fixtures to that attribute cue. So we're going to do that with the mini Kenta. We're going to click here on both of those mini Kentas, and we're just going to adjust the motor rotation. This is so the lights in the mini Kenta are at a different angle each time. So we're going to go ahead and do that for each eight of these attribute cues. Now, once we finish adjusting all eight of those attribute cues, once we click the A in the bottom right, click on any of the auto loops down here and click play, you should then see your mini Kentas reacting to the lights and your other special effects lights that you added, reacting to the lights and changing attributes as the light show goes on.